Hello friends and dear students, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, we are going to see two activities for the secondary school students. So, in this activity, we are going to discuss does the air exert any pressure on the surface of water or not. Shall we start the activity? Yes, let us start. The aim of the experiment is to observe air pressure on the surface of water. So for this experiment, what are the apparatus we need? First, I will show the apparatus. We need a, an apparatus called a glass tub or container. And uh, we need a glass tumbler. You can see here, a transparent glass tumbler. Glass is transparent, you know that. And what is this children? It is a cotton, dry cotton and as usual, it is a uh, water experiment, so we need water. Let us pour the water inside the glass tub. Right. Now, let us place this cotton at the bottom of the tumbler. We stick the cotton to the bottom of the tumbler. Make sure that the cotton should not come out when you inverse it. Let us place this glass tumbler inside the water. How? Inversely, not like this. We have to immerse it inversely. So, children, if you place this glass tumbler inversely, that means if you immerse it inversely inside the glass tumbler, what generally we you expect? Inside the glass tub, the water is present. So, generally we think that the water uh, will enter inside the glass tumbler. And uh, inside the glass tumbler at the bottom, we stick some cotton. So, we expect that the cotton will become wet because of the water. Now, let us take out the tumbler from water. Is the cotton attached at the bottom of the tumbler wet or dry? Look it carefully observe. If I press also, you, you, you cannot observe any water drops. Yes, it is dry only. The air which is present inside the tumbler will oppose the water entering inside the tumbler. That means the air which is present inside the tumbler is applying some force on the surface of the water. You can observe the water level rises up when we immerse the glass tumbler inside the water that means the air present inside the glass tumbler pushes the water to the side walls of the container that's why the water level rises up to the top of the container you can see the pressure applied by the air is released in the form of the air bubble the force of air on unit surface area of water is pressure of air. If you release the air pressure, then the water level went down. And one more experiment we are going to do to observe the air pressure. For this experiment also, we need a glass tumbler and a cardboard. So first, let us place the glass tumbler and pour the water inside the tumbler up to its surface and make sure that there are no air bubbles there is no air inside the glass tumbler now let us place let us place a cardboard on the top of the glass tumbler now you invert the Invert the glass tumbler. And slowly you remove the hand which holds the cardboard. Now I am removing. See my hand is removed even though the cardboard did not fall down. And the cord will remain in its place. So what is the reason? Even though if we remove the hand, then the water does not fall down. 
and the cardboard there is no support see here there is no support for the cardboard even though also the water does not fall down because the air which is present under the cardboard is applying an upward force so it is applying some upward force on the cardboard so this force applied by the air on the surface of the cardboard is greater than the weight of the water present inside so the weight of the water is less than the force applied by the air that is nothing but the pressure applied by the air that's why water cover with cardboard does not flow out and the cardboard remains in the same place so the aim of the activity is to observe air pressure the apparatus we need are glass container or tub glass tumbler the materials we require are water and cotton the procedure is take a glass tumbler stick some cotton at the bottom of it immerse it inversely in water up to the bottom of the container as shown in the given picture take out the tumbler from water we observe that the cotton attached at the bottom of the tumbler is not wet this is due to the force of air which is applied on water by the air present in the tumbler and stops water from entering inside this force on unit area of water is the pressure of air this air pressure is greater than the weight of the water so in the second experiment the cardboard does not fall and the water remains in the glass even though it's not supported by anything children have you understood these two activities don't forget to subscribe my channel kindly give your valuable likes comments and shares thank you